At the Royal Rumble, the WWE Universe will witness a night of firsts. It'll be the first time the WWE Divas Championship has been defended in nearly 15 years. And it'll be the first time these two longtime rivals step inside the ring and face each other in a one-on-one -on -one match. So ladies, all that's left is to sign the contract and make this unprecedented night official. Byron, as former GM of SmackDown Live, I conducted quite a few contract signings. And let me just say, you're doing a terrible job. You didn't even give me a chance to embarrass my opponent. Sorry. Now, Byron mentioned this is going to be the first official match between Red and I, but we've had our share of fights over the years. So I wanted to take the WWE Universe back to when Red and I were in high school to see actual footage from our very first fight. Well, it was really more of a one-sided beatdown. This is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you gonna do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table? I'm going to get help. <laughs> Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. <laughs> now her face matches her nickname. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. <laughs> At the Royal Rumble, our next fight is going to end just like they always have. You on the ground, screaming in pain, tapping out to the biggest crossover star in WWE history, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun. I'll do my talking in the ring, at the Royal Rumble. Wait, before you leave, I have a gift for you. To commemorate our big match and also honor our very first fight. Come on, it's rude to turn down a gift. Of course Hothead Red loses her temper. She was provoked. I hope Red's happy, but if you ask me, this type of juvenile behavior should have stayed in high school. No matter how you feel about what just transpired, these two lifelong rivals will finally settle their differences once and for all at the Royal Rumble.
Cole, man, it's almost time for one of my favorite days of the year. National Kazoo Day? Okay, that is a great day, but I was actually referring to the Royal Rumble. Oh, yeah. Right. Are you in it this year? Nah, unfortunately I'm not. I've been nursing a bit of an ankle injury, and old Buzz doesn't recover quite as quickly as he used to back in the day. Cool story. No one's buying it. So when should I expect you to be out there? Um, uh, early on, or, or maybe as a big surprise near the end? <laughs> I'm not in it, I swear. I've known you for like 15 years now, and I know when you're lying. You have that tell where you touch your face. We're talking on the phone. How would you even know if I touched my face? I heard you do it with my bionic ear. You don't have a bionic ear. I've considered getting one. <sighs> anyway, since I'm definitely not in the Royal Rumble, I'm going to predict Adam Cole to win it all. I think he's determined to get back in the title picture after his last run ended at the hands of Samoa Joe and Trey. Who do you got, Cole? Um, Buzz? Seriously? Look, for the last time, I'm not in the Rumble. I just heard your hand brush against your face. You are in the Rumble. I knew it. Ugh. Let's take a break from all of this. <laughs> <laughs> 